Hello, it's day 37, and I want to talk about chronometer. A couple weeks ago, I told you guys that I signed up for chronometer. I downloaded the chronometer app because my dad was going to start using it. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I, okay, I, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because today I walked downstairs and I asked my dad, hey, how's your diet going? How are things with chronometer? And he said, oh, I haven't been using it. <sighs> literally the only reason, and I'm using the word literally like the way it's meant to be used. Literally the only reason I downloaded chronometer was because my dad was using it and be, I wanted to support him. And now he's not using it anymore. So again, this is about the time when I would just say, ah, oh, well, forget it then. And I would take it off my phone and I would never think about it again. But literally, again, literally, just yesterday, go back to yesterday's video. Just yesterday, I said one of the keys to doing well on my diet is logging all of my calories and for right now that's in chronometer so i can't even tell you how disappointed i am right now like I, this is why i don't have like an actual diet buddy like i know me and you are diet buddies but like i'm talking about like a flesh and blood right beside me diet buddy this is why i can't have one because I get really fixated on things and beat myself up over them for a year. Hmm. We've been going for what, 37 days now? But everybody else around me peters out after a week or two. I don't even know how long my dad did chronometer, but he's done now. He doesn't even care. He's, he's taken it off of his phone. He said it was annoying. And really, I think chronometer is one of the least annoying ones I've tried. So... Uh, confession time, I didn't delete chronometer from my phone. In fact, I, bu I bought chronometer. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Yeah, so I doubled down. I doubled down and I paid the nine bucks or whatever it was for a month of chronometer. I subscribed to chronometer. It was very much just a rage buy, like an impulse buy. It's like, you know what, if, if, this is not going to be the reason I fail again. <laughs> Little known fact about me, if I spend money on something, I'm going to use that thing. I made myself journal for four years straight, never missing a day, just because I bought a fancy hardcover journal. And it cost a lot of money, and if I buy it, if I spend money on it, I'm going to use it. So I'm hoping that happens with Chronometer too. Because with this weekend, how difficult it was for me this weekend, like, I lost a lot of progress this weekend. And I'm tired of doing this, like, progress a little during the week and fail again on the weekend. Progress and fail, progress and fail. Like, I do, Monday through Thursday, I do great. Last week, I was down to, like, 221. But today, I was back up to 226 because I had a bad weekend. And while I was running today... You know, today's Monday run day. I was running. I was like, you know what? I'm never going to get any better with running unless I shed some pounds. But I can't shed pounds if I keep having bad weekends. So I'm going to get to the point where I just use chronometer every day. Even if it's a bad day and I have a ton of calories over, I'm going to use chronometer. The impulse buying of chronometer, it really was an impulse buy. After I bought it, I thought to myself, well, you know, I was only using chronometer because my dad was using it. Maybe there's a better calorie counter out there with better features. And that might be true, and I might try the paid features on another calorie counter at some point, but for right now I want to start with chronometer because I am kind of impressed with how minimal and unannoying chronometer is. It doesn't pester you, it doesn't judge you. Like my fitness pal is very judgy. You eat something, you eat a sleeve of Oreos and it's like, you know, that's really high in saturated fat. Thanks, my fitness pal. I really needed that on top of the binge. I think I've told you that before, why I don't like my fitness pal. But life, some with its goofy little mascot and uh, lose it, lose it is very popular, but I just don't really like it. So I'm gonna try chronometer and we're gonna see 
if chronometer gold can maybe break me through my bad weekend habits. But you know what really frustrates me? I feel like my dad was doing okay. I feel like he was doing okay, but he is just so set in his ways that he he can't like make a new habit. And I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to be the person who's just so set in her ways that she never changes anything in her entire life. I thought about that the other day too. Like I look exactly the same as I always have. I've never changed my hair. I've never changed my glasses. You know, I, I just am a very bland looking person. I look the exact same, plus a couple pounds, as I did in high school. And the only way I can explain it is being overweight feels like a childish problem to me. It's a problem I've dealt with since I was old enough to understand the repercussions of being overweight. Like I understood that I was a heavy set girl as young as like six seven or eight like I knew that there was something different about me and the fact that all the way up to how old I am now I've never been able to fix it it really does feel like I am still struggling with a childhood problem like if you're an adult or even if you're just like an older teen whoever you are out there if you're an adult imagine having to deal with a problem from like middle school a problem that's just been hounding you. If you're a young person, think about like even farther back to grade school. Like think about a problem that you identified when you were so young that you still have made no progress on. That's what it feels like being unhealthy and overweight. And I can feel my health slipping again. I can feel it. I just haven't been feeling the best. If I'm going to change, if things are going to get better, I have to do something different. And I've never bought a weight loss app before, so we're gonna try this this time. And if at the end of this coming month, by the time this subscription runs out, if nothing has changed, maybe I'll try a different one. I don't know. But that's, that's a new tenant of the Franken diet. I'm going to track absolutely everything, absolutely every day. So if you're coming along with me on this journey, man, I hope that you are seeing some progress because I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing the weekly progress and crash. Make progress, crash. I can't keep doing it. It's, it's a cycle that I have to break out of and I know I keep saying that, but last week I thought I was doing really well. Then this weekend came along, like, I keep saying the same thing over and over. Like, last week was great, then the weekend. Last week was great, then the weekend. I just want to solve this problem once and for all. 